make sure y'all follow me on cake this is where i play most of these games and do most of everything on here play every game gta madden 2k doesn't really matter and uh yeah that's it let's get right into the video all right boys now look in today's video slash stream what we're gonna be doing is i'm gonna be showing you guys all right so basically the beginner's guide to 2k23 all right so basically everything you need to know about 2k all right everything you need to know the beginning guy like best settings best everything just beginner stuff though you know what i'm saying nothing too advanced nothing too crazy just the beginners guy all right so what we're gonna what i'm gonna show you guys first thing you always so when you boot up 2k right when you boot up 2k what you need to do is go to right here out of the menu right features all right now when you do this it's going to save so you should you should be good all right now every now and then though you need to go ahead and check it every now and then because it might reset it's just something 2k does but this is what you guys can do right now go to control the settings right here right and then after you do that put all these settings so vibration on you need to have this on shot meter off now i'm not really going to be explaining too much what this is i'm just going to show you guys what you need to be running and then a separate video i'll do like an advanced type one uh advanced beginners like advanced guide to 2k wherever it is right um yeah shot meter needs to be off and the reason why is because it just what it does is it just helps um helps you become a better shooter with every player in 2k so it helps you shoot with every jump shot in 2k so that's going to help you um shot timing have it on um shots only shot time and release time have it on late now you can use early but you can just play around with both but i recommend late perfect release have it on none but you can have it on flame ball this is not really a setting that goes too crazy just make sure whatever you want just have it up to you but i'm gonna have it on none and then perfect release have it on bucket and then you want to have it on comet uh circle red free throw timing user timing do not have it on real play percentage because if they're a bad free throw shooter they're going to miss every time so user timing boom right post stick function have it on dribble moves that's what you want to have it on absolute um i mean pro stick orientation have it on absolute off ball defense mode have it on absolute um double team reaction have this on manual uh, and how to double team i'm going to go over all that and later on but this is just the settings manual help defense button function have it on double team um have this on manual and then player options are on have skip pass enabled on normal icon pass and default and then full receiver control absolute on and then have this on 10 all right this needs to be at 10 this needs to be at 100 and then have this on 80 all right 10 180 these now when you move this up other stuff is going to move all right so remember have this on 80 that's exactly what you guys want all right um now the next thing that you guys need to do is go out and then you want to go to coach settings all right coach settings have this on off adaptive coaching engine remember go here when you go to when you go to features go to coach settings have this on off you need to have that on off all right I have this on manual 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 this always is going to stay the same all right so you don't have to worry about this add this on all three on manual Sub substitution method have it on rotation office play vision on all plays play vision display four show all manual 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 and then team communication have this on offense and defense all right uh, freelance series order have it on static freelance series repeat have it on repeat on success and that's this is what you guys want to have all right this is exactly this the right settings all right now settings is this is nothing too major but make sure you have your game on hall of fame because when you play on hall of fame it just helps you become a way better player you become a way 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 better player when you learn how to play on hall of fame all right now even if you're not that good at the game when you run the hall of fame and even if you do lose or you miss a lot of shots it just helps you become a better player right nobody becomes like the best player of all time just really fast right it takes time but this will help you all right now yeah hall of fame none of this other stuff matters all right that's cool now what i'm going to show you guys now right let's go to uh, i'm gonna go to play now let's go to scrimmage right i'm gonna go to a scrimmage and just show you guys right so right here and i recommend having just, look 
you can use your favorite team in 2k but make sure you use make sure you use the best team so like um okay some people might say you, you know you're you're not good because you're the best team that but nobody care right you want to win games to become better at 2k so use the best team the best teams in 2k all right now the lakers are the best team the second best team is easily the bucks all right third is the celtics now i'm gonna use lakers bucks i'm gonna use the lakers i'm gonna show you guys what you need to do now this what you need to do um uh, when you're doing the lineups when you're playing when you start before you even boot up a game look at what lineup you have wh whoever plays you have right now um 2k23 is all about mashing so that's what you need to know right now the mashing is, is the meta of this game right so you need to have height on the court to stop the mashing so i've watched like my boy earn like earn he was playing and he the guy he was playing against a guy he would just inbound the ball get him to zion and just going straight to the basket and the reason why is because my boy earned it have no height on the court so you need to have height on the court even if they have no defense all right so um right here Neanderthal Russell, right? Take him out. Uh, you got Brian at 80, so you're going to get scoring. Take out D'Angelo Russell, and you need to run somebody like Hachim or somebody, either a guy that can shoot, or he, if he don't have, if he just have hype with no defense, make sure he can at least shoot or something. You know what I'm saying? But even if he can't, you're still good because he has height. You're going to get stops on defense. So right here, you see Roy Hachimor. I'm going to go run. The rest of these guys are too small. Like uh, Lonnie Walker is only 6'5". He's like 6'4". 6'4". Um, he's only 6'1", 6'3". But we got my boy Bomber right here, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to run him at the power four. So... You can run Hachimura, Vanderbilt, Brian, and AD. All right. So your main scores will come from Hachimura, Brian, and AD. That's really, really get your most of your scoring from. And this is another thing that comes into play. You need to go to practice. Go to practice and just shoot a whole bunch of threes. Like put it on Hall of Fame and just shoot as many threes as possible. You know what I'm saying? Just, just try to get every jump shot down with the meter off. Now you can use a meter, but most people I see that run meters they have um zen so i most guys that use meters and they green lot of shots they have zen so i don't i don't you know kind of recommend don't using the meter because you could get you can't get like false reported for using zen so i most people that i've played with that have beat me have when been with meters and they have zen so like it's it's you know kind of um uh self-explanatory so now this is the line that you guys will run with the lakers because it's a straight height now if you do run the celtics though like if you run the celtics right right here you see the celtics they have they might not have the best height but they have the best defenders this is another thing that you need to look out for so if you have a lineup like marcus smart jalen brown tatum horford williams right you gotta look at where's the weakness where's the weakness in your lineup the weakness is your center you might be like but he's a beast he got badges and things of that nature no he cannot shoot the ball if you're not a good if you're not a good shooter in 2k already if you're not even really good at 2k um you need to run uh um a center that can shoot this is a, what's one thing i would tell people run a center that can shoot even if he can't shoot um at least let him have a good jump shot so if he don't have a good jump shot it's really the offense is not going to be good so robert williams if you know if he's not doing good for you and you're not hitting threes with tatum off screens or things of that nature take him out run horford at the center because he is six nine with anchor with the anchor batch go ahead and put another tall guy in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run brogdon now then you gotta remember all this all of these things i'm showing you have weaknesses all right but as long as you as long as that you're getting better at the game you can hide the weaknesses in you know whatever team you're using right so right here i have less height on the court so against the bucks it's kind of going to be kind of hard to stop the bucks without robert williams in but if you can make shots consistently because you're going to you're going to be good on offense you got tatum smart Bro brogdon um brown and horford you're going to be good on offense but on defense is where you're going to be slacking but just you still should be good as long as you go to practice try out every jump shot no matter what team it is it could be the nets Cavs, lakers no matter try out every jump shot so you can get every jump shot down and it helps you become a better player so um the next thing you guys need to be doing right is go to features go to the roster go to the roster right for the nba look at all the like, whatever team you like using the most so me my favorite two teams is the lakers 
and the Cavs. All right, them the two teams. Oh, and the Celtics. Them the top three teams that I use in 2K. All right, reason why they're the best defensive teams, and I can score a lot with them and get to the basket because mashing is mashing is basically get under the basket or by the basket and just basically press the X. That's basically what mashing is. All right, and what you need, what you're gonna look at is look at every player on this roster what do they have that you like using in 2k so even if you aren't the best if you're not the best look for defense all right look for the what teams that have the best defenders so you guys see right here the lakers look at brian they got him juice in 2k that's the main reason why you should use the lakers he has chase down artists pogo stick brick wall interceptor ankle braces box out beast challenger clamps that bro is juice on defense. Then you go to the next highest player, AD, juiced on defense, anchor, post lockdown, box out beats, brick wall, chase down artists, right? So you throw Brian on their best player, on their best player, you know, you throw Brian on him, you throw AD on their best big man. And then if you're looking for a perimeter defender, another defender, they got Jared Vanderbilt. That's a that's a third defender. So basically, you got all um all everybody boxed up. So you got Vanderbilt, Glove, Interceptor, Pogo State. And then next thing you should look at on the player besides their badges, right? You need to look at the um the tendencies. So tendencies is a very key thing. So let's go here, right? Right, here, tendencies. Go all the way down. And if their contest shot tendency, right here. Here's is that 80. That's really good for a low overall play. He's 80 overall, but he's really like a 70 something. He doesn't really do too much on the court besides defend. All right. And the next person, and the next thing you should look at, right? Even if you're gonna run like a guy, like this guy right here, William Gabriel, we were running him all year before they got Vanderbilt. He has 99 contest shot, but he has no badges. But then you gotta look at is his contest shot. He's gonna basically contest everything that's go to the best. So if somebody try to mash on you, he might get a foul caught on him, but he's gonna contest it. So he's basically gonna try to get the block every time. That's exactly what you guys want in a player, all right? Especially if, if you're not the best 2K player, go for defense. Defense is where it's at, and then you can just mash your way to win. Literally, you can mash your way to win. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you guys next is go to play now, right? Go to 2KU. I'm going to show you guys. Go to scrimmage. All right. Like I said, let's get, let's get the Lakers. Let's get the Lakers, right? Get a, a, a bad team. So let's go ahead and get the, um, the Pacers, right? Boom. Start up a game, right? Wait for it to load. I recommend putting this on. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to tell you guys why. Put this on rookie. So let's go ahead and get the ball. Wait for him to wait for him not snap it, but wait for him to um, throw it up. Boom. That's mine, right? Get a ball to Brian. And this is what you guys want to just practice is stiff arming. Now, what stiff arming is, is where, or just, just practice just going to the basket and pressing next with your best player. All right, so if your best player, if you have Bron, Giannis, Ja Morant, they're basically glitches. They, they're like glitch players. They're going to get a foul call for them every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the basket and just press X. That's all you guys want to do. It's, if you're not a good player, that's what's going to do. That's what you can do. It's going to help. It's going to help a, a lot, bro. It's going to help you a lot, and it's going to create easy three-point shots for you. So let's go ahead and let them score again, right? I'm gonna get to the I'm gonna get to the other good stuff later. So let's go ahead and let them score. Let them score right quick. So let him shoot. Go ahead. Bro, just shoot the ball. Thank you, sir. There we go. Now I'm gonna get the rebound. Now you guys see, I'm gonna go ahead and just go up the court and watch. I'm gonna go to the best and the three balls gonna be open. Somebody's gonna be open. See A D, he got open right there. That's gonna that's that's what basically that's basically what going to the best is gonna help um open up for you. So now you see right here, they're, go, they're gonna double team bronze. I'm gonna run to the basket. You see A is wide open. Right there, I said three ball and I can make that. That's what going to the basket is gonna open up for you. And that's where going to practice and practicing every jump shot is going to come into play. So when you practice every jump shot, that should be like shooting a jump shot. You should never be scared to shoot a jump shot, especially if you have practiced that jump shot time and time again, all right? Now, I'm going to show you guys another thing you guys need to know in 2K23 right now. Um, five out offense. Five out offense. So, when I say five out offense, how to run it, things of that nature, how to set it up, is really, really simple. It's not hard. Um, now, what you guys want to do, right? You want to go to, 
right here, pause the game. It's going to be called offensive settings. Now, actually, I'm going to go into a real game because it's not going to um, really show what I want to show right here. And in, in scrimmage, I'm going to show you guys in the actual real game. I'm going to run it with this. Stuff. It doesn't really matter, right? Wait for, them to, uh, wait for it to load. And I'm going to show you guys this because this is very key. Five out will even make the the best player um have problems against you. You know, five out is very hard to defend. Now, wait for him to, wait for him to throw the ball up. Wait for him to throw the ball up. Wait for it, and you're good, right? So let's get the ball. Now, after the tip off, say you get the say you get the tip off, right? Pause the game. Go to game plan right here. You see it right here? Go to offensive settings. You want to go to offensive settings. You want to click this. And make sure this is on a custom. It's gonna start off on auto. Just go click it right here. The right analog state to says custom. The right analog state go to custom. Now, next thing is go to freelance. You want to just see right here. Go down, freelance. Now, sometimes it might automatically say freelance. Just click on it again. Go down to it says Bucks 2018. Click this. All right, click that, and it's gonna it's gonna be set right. Now, next thing is you want to go to coaching coaching sliders all right you want to go down right you click it go all the way down here and go to bucks playbook this is very key make sure it is set to bucks playbook right next thing is turn this all the way down to 10 right here wait boom turn it down to 10 and that's this is that's going to be very key all right have it at 10 next thing you guys are going to do is go to assign play now this is very very key remember I'm, I was gonna go run, go run through it all over again. I got the tip off, pause the game, go to game plan, offensive settings, freelance, go to Bucks 2018, boom, go to uh, not coach settings, go to coaching sliders, have it on Bucks, turn this down to 10, go to assign plays. It should be no more than 10 to 15 seconds within that span, right? Next thing, all your ball handlers and your best player. So my best player is Tatum. He's gonna have the ball in his hand most times. Move it until it says isolation point. That's very key. Isolation point is where you want to have it on. Because on the right side, you guys see it says ISO 5 out. That's the play you're going to be running sometimes during the game. So um, him and then, oh no, go back to the, that screen. Go to Jalen Brown. He's your next ball handler. Your next one after um, Jason Tatum. You're going to be handling the ball with just uh, uh, Jalen Brown. You want to go ahead and go to isolation point. Next thing is go to Malcolm Brogdon, which is your next ball handler. Isolation point. Smart is another ball handler. Isolation point. And then you want to go to your bench. You might put somebody in off the bench, so you won't have to pause the game again. Just go to, off, go to somebody off your bench. Go to isolation point. That's another thing you guys need to do, all right? And that's it. That's all you need to do. Now you're set, all right? As long as you did do the, at the beginning of the video, where I told you to turn off the adaptive coaching engine it should automatically be up you shouldn't have to check this as long as you did it in the menu like i said in the beginning of the video all right now um after you do that now you got the ball in your hands right what you're going to do is right on the d-pad right on the d-pad click a and then click run freelance and then click the right d-pad again press the right bumper freelance press bucks 2018 now you see how everybody we're good right we're good hold on Boom. I'm going to go ahead and just have the shot clock run out um, because I want the. Uh, I'm going to put this on Hall of Fame. My fault. Boom. I'm going to put it on Hall of Fame. Now, you guys say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and let them score. All right. I'm not showing you defense right now. I'm just showing you offense right now. All right. Wait for them to score. Brian. Oh, my goodness. And one. Good shot, Brian. Good shot. That's not. We, we let them score. Let them score. I'm, I'm going to show you defense after I show you the offense. And you guys are going to be good. So, boom. You guys are good. You guys are good. I'll hold for it. Now. What you guys want to do is get a ball to him. Now you guys are going to see how everybody's going to be at the three-point line. That's exactly what you guys want. Now, next thing you guys see, like I say, get a ball to your boss ball hand ball handler. And if you see he don't have a good defender on him like Bron, you know Bron is a good defender. Even if he got some height on Tatum, Tatum has the offensive badges, so he's going to score. He's a high overall. So most times you can just blow right past him, but you guys see right there, I couldn't, and the shot is not open. So. If that's happening, right? If you don't have the shot when you're trying to get to the basket, next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the pick and roll offense. Because five out and pick and roll is the basically what you guys need to be running this year in 2K. That's a very key thing you need to be running. Let's go ahead and let them score. Okay, he scored. Boom. Now you see, I couldn't, I couldn't score, right? I can't get to the basket. Now, 
what you're going to do is it's call for a screen from their worst defender so you see hachimura right i remember i said he got height but he has no defense so i'm going to press the left bumper right just press it click it and then hold a and then press rb so he's going to fade i'm going to run around this get to the basket and then i'm just going to go to the basket and press x that's exactly what you guys want you're going to score a lot of baskets especially if, if you if you aren't really good this is a beginner's guy if you aren't really good this is really going to help you so you guys i'm going to go let them score right quick let them score then i'm going to show you guys the play you need to be running to get a lot more baskets now i got the ball right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the left bumper and press y i mean whoever the person is with the ball so i have tatum with the ball so he's the y button i'm gonna press y i'm gonna press the um at that press y click the right trigger and click iso five out you guys are going to see everybody going to run to the spot um I'm gonna, i gotta shoot the ball because um shot clock going out i can't do nothing so i'm gonna show you guys and right real um real time of what i would do with the ball so let's go ahead and let them score let's let them score right quick Hold on. Let them score. Let them score. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Brian. Pull up three is crazy. That's off. Thank you. Now, you guys see I got the ball. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, what I just showed you. Walk, click the left bumper. Press Y or whoever got whoever the icon is of the guy with the ball. And then click the right trigger and then ISO 5 out. Now, what I'm going to do is you guys see this is the way what you guys want to do. I'm going to go ahead and ask for that screen. And go around it then i can shoot the three ball right here that's off that's a bad i missed that it's not actually not a bad shot because that's the shot tatum can't make i just end up missing that shot but you guys see that's exactly what you guys want and that's perfect 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 offense of if you you know if you aren't really good at the game that's what you guys can do even with a market smart i'm going to do the same thing iso five out what i'm going to do i'm going to get a screen for my center because my center most times your center is going to have brick wall and that's basically what that badge is going to do what that's going to do is it's going to um it's basically going to make the person that's guarding you off the screen he's going to get hit really hard from the screen you should be able to get to the basket really really soon i mean really really easy so you guys see right here right i'm going to ask for that screen i don't know why the camera's like this hold on right here. i don't know why they're doing this okay there we go you guys see right here right why is the camera like this hold on i'm trying to hold on all right hold on i'm trying to fix the camera so i can show you guys so you guys see right here right brogdon with the ball i mean uh marcus Smart with the ball right i want to call for a screen now you see how the guy that's checking me which is hachimura number 28 on the lakers He's going to get hit. He's going to get hit by the screen, right? That's that brick wall. That's exactly what you guys want. And you see, a since um, he got hit hard right off the screen, AD is going to have to help out on Marcus Smart. And all I got to do is throw it to my the guy I asked for a screen from. Now you can either you can press the right bumper and throw it to the icon, whoever you know, whoever his icon is. Most times the center is is LT, or you can just press A. All right. As long as you did that setting, I told you early the pass open this setting. That's going to throw it to him and watch it right here. He's going to be wide open. This is an easy three ball. I'm going to make that every time. All right. As long as you did practice jump shots and practice, like I said, on Hall of Fame, you're going to make almost every jump shot. All right. Do that with the meter off. You're going to be one of the best players and you can't use the meter on, but I recommend using the meter off. And then you're going to be one of the best players in the game. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the defense right quick. All right. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do for defense. Right. So for defense. But I recommend is doing this, right? So, right, go to there, go to your team, right? I mean, go to the team, uh, go to game plan right here, right? Pause the game, go to game plan, go to defensive settings, click this, right? The best de default settings. This is not for my team. This is for play now. It's have it on moderate, moderate. Go under, go under. Catch hedge, catch hedge. Stay attached. Have it on. Yes. All right. Have this on. Yes. This is very key. Have the um, posting. Have it on front. Have it on front. Uh, off ball settings. Have it on go over. And then dry, uh, screen help. Have it on no help. No help. No help. All this is no help. All right. Have it on that. And then have this on go over. Go over. Go over. Go over. And no threes. Copy all of this down. These are the best preset settings you guys can run. All right. Next thing is if you're okay now i have the lakers i mean i have the celtics i have five defenders but i'm gonna put my best defender on his best score so um my best defender which is satan right he, i'm gonna throw him on brian that's height for height defender on his offensive player 
uh, for his big man, throw your best big man on his big man. Now, basically how you do this is at the, when you're on the screen, click the right bumper. All right. That's how you switch between player to player. And then you can go over here and see what says matchup where it's lining up. The right analog state, you can move it left and right. I'm going to move it right like five times to have my best center on him. That's exactly what you guys want. You see Al Horford is on him, right? This is very, this is very key. This is very key. Now, if you have an elite um a defender like Marcus Smart, right? Say you have a guy, remember to always check your player badges. Marcus Smart is the deep former DPOY. He has Hall of Fame badges everywhere on defense. I'm gonna press Marcus Smart, right? I'm gonna run tight and tight on him. Now basically what tight is gonna do is what tight is gonna do is gonna take away that three ball. That's exactly what you want. Now what moderate is gonna do is take away the uh, thing to the basket. So they're trying to get to the basket. Um, moderate is going to stop him from doing that. Now, another thing I do tell you is to remember to be moving on the controller. So what I mean by moving is moving your hands, but you need to be moving your hands on the controller. This is very key. Like click it between icon and icon. You know how to move from icon to icon, which is click the right bumper and then click on the player's icon. So that's for that's it for the, for the defensive settings. That's just the the beginner's guide for that. All right, because that's like a whole other video, right? Now you guys see that my icons. I'm gonna click the right bumper and just move between player to player, player to player. You see, I see how I'm like moving between player to player. I know Jalen Brown's a bad defender, so I'm gonna help out a little bit. And you guys see, even though that's Brian, he made the shot. I still had defense everywhere. That's exactly what you guys want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the ball so I can get on defense right now with form now the defense you guys want to run and how to set it up what you need to do is, is when you when they get the ball click left on your d-pad and then you want to press half core press this is the best preset defense you guys can run all right half core press or man to man now you can click it and then press man to man but i like running half core press full core press is for like if you're you know somewhat good at the game but half court press is what you need to run right half court press and then what you're going to do is after you click half court press um uh after that just make sure you use it as center so the center click the right bumper and then click the lt that's basically going to put you on the center right now i'm going to show you guys one defensive play you guys see right here i'm preparing defense this is perfect defense and they just call foul some things you cannot control you see right there that was good defense, but they just call foul. So that's nothing we can do, right? So you guys see right here, right? Watch LeBron, which is what this is what mo most people run on offense, right? You see how everybody's on three point line. This is a five hour offense. That's what most people run, right? So watch this defense right here, right? I got my the best defender, which is Tatum, on Bron. Bron doesn't have a good three ball, so you don't have to worry about Bron shoot shooting too many threes, right? So after he do that, he's gonna try to move. Most times he's not gonna shoot the three ball, so he's gonna get the screen. You see Tatum, the uh, Tatum didn't even move. He didn't even move until Brown moved, right? And you see how Brown got a little bit of step on Tatum. On Tatum, that's gonna happen because that's LeBron. He's one of the best players in the game. What you're gonna have to do is with your player is move back. So move back here to help out until Tatum recovers. Now the CPU does act dumb sometimes, and you guys see right there how he go for a charge, which there's no reason for him to do that. So I, now I'm gonna have to help out with my center or the guy I'm using, right? You see how Brian doesn't have that lane right there because I'm running back. So he's going to throw it back to AD. Now, I know that when he's about to AD, it's to just guard the shot the best way I can. You guys are going to see right here. I'm going to jump, and they're going to call foul. That's perfect defense. And then if he try to throw it to somebody on three-point line, they're going to be boxed, all right? There's no help from nowhere. You do not want to be helping from the corner because basically it's going to give up an easy three ball. You do not want that, all right? See, this is between two and two people, just two and just only two people only. That's you and the CPU. You see Brown right here. Nothing's open. And then I'm going to jump at that, and they're going to call a foul. That's perfect defense, all right? Especially the be that's one of the best, the beginner's defense you guys can run in the game. Now, I'm going to show you guys just me running straight defense um, on this play right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let them score. I'm going to run out of bounds. Wait for it. I'm going to go ahead and go run out of bounds right here. Get on the ball. Now, I'm going to run half court press, right? Half court press, boom. After you do that, now I'm gonna show you guys. Now, I take out LeBron. That's cool. Now this is just me playing defense. So now what I'm doing, now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you guys right here. What I'm doing on defense right here at the see see how my opponent is trying to inbound the ball. Just hold the right analog stick up. Hold it the right analog stick up, and Tatum is gonna hold his hands up. 
So if your opponent try to throw the ball in, it's going to hit my body and it can easily go off the, the guy inbounding it. And so therefore, it's going to be your ball. Or what it's going to do is, or what it's going to do is, it's going to, you could either throw the ball and then score. So I'm going to be doing that. You see right here. See me right here. I'm holding the right analog stick up, moving. And you see right here, this is good defense. I'm on ball, then click off. And that's nothing. That's perfect defense. This is why I'm saying you don't have to do too much, all right? Especially if you're not really that good at the game. Just you see right here, watch. You see Tatum. See everybody. See um. See right here. This is why I say run tight with your best defender. This is going to be good defense, not a good shot. And we get the ball. And we, now we can go on offense, right? I'm going to run my little offense. I still five out, like I said. Now, worry about the dribbling because that's going to be for a separate video. But you guys see, I'm going to try to get to the basket right here. We know Vando cannot guard him. Boom, boom. Get up there. All I got to do is mash. Once you mash, learn how to mash, just go to the basket and press the next or square. You're going to be good. So, see the half court press. Watch it right here. I'm going to use it, this guy close to the ball. That's cool. Now, I'm going to go on my center. Now, if you don't know how to really move on off defense, that's cool. You know, not everybody know how to do that as of as soon as you're starting. Just go on your center. Don't give up nut, no baskets. You see, I'm just on, I'm still on my center. Now, you see right there, that's a good shot. He missed. And that's contested. And that's good defense. It's very, it's that simple. It's that simple. Now, one last thing I did see somebody say they know how to do is set their players out mid-game. Don't pause the game. All right, do not do that. You're going to waste your time, and that's just that's bad. Press down on the on the D-pad, and then after you do that, press down D-pad. You can put your starters back in or the bench. So to put your starters back in, press right on the D, uh, tr right trigger, and just press A. It's going to put your starters back in. It's, it's really is that simple. That's how you do that. That's how you sell press in and out. And then if you want to do another substitution, like an individual one, I'm, I'm going to take out Smart. Press A and then it's only breaking maybe another point guard. So I'm going to put Derek White in uh, right here. Boom. And then after the next time a foul call, the ball guard to bounce, it's easy. It's going to do that. It's going to put my point guard in. And that's exactly what you guys want. All right. That's exactly what you guys want. So this is the beginner's guide to um, NBA 2K23. Best, I'm going like, to say the best defense or offense, but this is the ones you guys seem to be running right now. All right. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helped you guys. And I will see you guys in the, uh, um, the next night guide, all right?